are on your side tonight helping you recover from the storm. The city of St. Augustine sent out a list of frequently asked questions. Now the biggest question, what should you do if your house flooded? Well, first things first, call your insurance provider. You should also take pictures. You want to make sure that you measure and document all of the uh, damage to your belongings and to your property. And before you take out damage items from your home, be sure to ask your insurance provider first. Next question. Do I need to contact my insurance company to report damage to my home? I'm sorry, let me rephrase that. Do I need to contact the city to report damage to my home? The answer is no, you only need to contact your insurance company. Now, what if you were not insured? Well, there's a chance that you can still get help. For example, St. John's County is included in the FEMA disaster declaration for Hurricane Ian. So if you're not insured and you can provide proof of damage to your home, you might be eligible for federal help and you can apply on the FEMA website. Now, if your home's in too bad of a shape to live in, can you place a camper or an RV in your yard for temporary housing? Well, if you're in St. Augustine, the answer to that question is yes. You can live in a vehicle on your property for six months as long as there's an active building permit to repair damage created by Hurricane Ian.